All right, Steve here, and on today's Vast Motorsports, we're going to be spray painting a golf cart. I normally don't recommend trying to do this. I don't know. I've never actually tried to do it before, so I can't say exactly how it's going to turn out, but we're going to try our best, and I'm going to take my time and try to do it as good as I can. And I know, Sean, you're watching this. He's already purchased a cart from me, or making few payments to me it'll be done with it this week that's why I want to get the cart done real quick and uh, buddy I told you I can't guarantee anything how it's gonna turn out but it'll be all right it's gonna match your truck it's gonna be blue we're going with the gray top I already have the brand new gray seats done and uh, matter of fact I'll try to post a little video on that where I made the covers for it but right now I pretty much did the basics I took the lights out and all which I ordered a new set of the headlights to go on this cart it's a led kit so they're a direct replacement will plug right into the factory harness uh, we already took the top piece off because we are switching tops he wanted the uh, white one here off the other cart and this uh, there's another cart sitting back there but anyway it had a little more of a stable assembly back here for the backrest of the back seat for you to lean up against so we switched the whole entire thing over which I left it off this cart because I know he wanted it painted. Took the backlights out, took the big black tray out that goes in here with uh, pop the clips out, you know, and took that out. Now I can clean under there too, but we're only going to be painting down below these holes. But I didn't want it getting all over the black thing. I don't have to tape it off now. So what I'm going to do is I've already scuffed it one time the other day because it had like a little bit of overspray where it was sitting in someone's garage. So what I'm going to do today is I got a little piece of sandpaper. I'm going to go around and hit any bad chunks or like there's some scratches and nicks and stuff on. I'm going to knock them just a little bit. You can only do so much. You'd have to actually use like filler on them and stuff. And we agreed we're not doing that. It's a lot of work. It's not going to be perfect. It's not a car paint job. So <clears throat> then I'm going to got some Dawn dish detergent mixed up in the bucket there. I'm going to fill it up with water got a scotch bright pad and i'm going to wash it really good and get it prepped and then the roof i'm going to do the same as far as scotching it down real good and we are going to paint it the dark gray to match the seats that's going on here that are new and i'll probably hit the wheels gray too he wanted so stick around i'm not going to show you all that because i mean that's the basics let's just get her washed down all right, went ahead and uh, went around it, hit all the bad spots with the sandpaper. Now I'm just dipping my scuff pad right into the Dawn dish detergent mix, and I'm just going to go to town. And again, I'm going to put the camera down or the phone because I want to make sure I put some elbow grease in this. I want to get this thing nice and scuffed, get it all the way up to the edges using my finger like that sure she is scuffed everywhere especially in these grooves and stuff you got to use your finger make sure you get in there All right, so I let it dry overnight. Took it for a little ride yesterday after I washed it, trying to get all the water off, but parked it out here, jacked it up, took the wheels off, because we're gonna spray them gray. And I got everything taped off and covered up. It's pretty important that you get your tape line nice because that's gonna have a lot to do with how your paint job turns out. I don't want any overspray on the trim and stuff just kind of stuffed cardboard up in there to keep it from blowing all in on the suspension and stuff and uh, taped off like the stainless hinges and that's where the little shifter knob goes and stuff so trying to keep it nice and clean at least on the job you know try to make the spray turn out good but of course you're fighting the elements when you're outside freaking stupid cats I don't care much for cats as people know got all over it last night so they do that shit tonight it's gonna be pretty bad but 
it's still early in the day so i'm going to try to get at least two good coats on it and then clear it and stuff and see if it can get a decent shell on it before this evening and uh hope that nothing blows onto it i know when i come out earlier there was flies all over it because it's white i guess and they like it so i'm hoping nothing lands on it but i'm going to use I'm going to take a paper towel and knock all the loose dirt off from the cats and whatever got on it last night. Just use some alcohol and paper towel and wipe it real good because I don't have any prep saw, but uh, that'll do the same. So we'll get her wiped down real quick, the alcohol, and get to spraying. All right, so we got one can on first coat. It barely made a cover on it, and as I figured, it's not looking that great. And uh, probably gonna have to go get another can and make it three cans total because on the second coat, I'm gonna have to put it on nice and thick to try to hide all them tiger stripes and the spots that are not covered that great. So we'll let it dry for a few minutes and get started on that second coat, see how she looks. All right, so I went ahead and sprayed my second coat, and it looks all right. I mean, of course, the phone's not going to show you everything. It does have orange peel to it. It's got a couple runs here and there, and like I said, there's no body work actually done or anything, but it is blue. And so once we get some clear on it and everything is all back together, I'll show you when she's finished. I'm pretty sure she'll look good, at least from five feet away and over. She'll look real good. And that's the biggest thing is he wanted it to match his blue Dodge truck. So I think we're hitting the point there at least. All right, let's get her cleared in a few. Let it tack up a little bit more. Hope, pray, nothing lands on it. I rigged me up a little piece of cardboard insert. Just ran a little piece of tape around the outer edge of the rim and the valve stem on the tires and then I just kind of lay my piece of cardboard on I got another piece of tape on it so it just kind of matches up good enough so let's get these wheels sprayed we're going to go with the gray got her painted but ran into a bunch of problems on the front side here and I had this more or less strip it back off and respray it again today so the back looks all right and again it is not a show job you're not going to go win any golf cart shows but it does look good and he came by and seen it and is happy with it because it is blue and it matches the truck pretty well so once we get it all back together and it's got everything on it, I think she'll look pretty good. And we got the wheels all grayed out. So we'll just have to see. All right, so this is her finished and put together. Shined up some of it. I still want to hit the dash area and the steering wheel like the center and uh, probably hit the floor area real quick, but I've done all the trim around the outsides here had to put the stock lights back in it we were going to do the led kit but it's not a direct plug and play like i was thinking it was or hoping it was so we're not getting into doing the new harness and rigging and all that stuff but she does look good and this is not the same wheels <clears throat> the other neighbor lee down here bought some brand new ones for his because these were a little too big for his at the stock height same easy go but they were scrubbing when he would turn and this one has a little bit of a lift to it the way i did the springs and all on it so it's just right and i think they look better on it anyway and the roof is the gray to 
match the gray seats. Now it's got the chrome hubcaps with the 10 inch rims and the big wheels. So she's sitting nice and she definitely looks good. Nice five footer for standing to her. You know, if you get right up on the paint, you'll see stuff wrong, but uh, that is a spray can job. But she definitely looks good. And Sean's happy with it, so we're happy. All right, looks like the rain is moving in, so I need to get her covered up over here before it makes it dirty. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Ass Motorsports. We'll see you on the next one.